hi everyone this is Brenda and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this simple cardigan it's made of five panels sewn together and in this tutorial I'm making a size medium but I'll be showing you how to make it longer or bigger the yarn I used is a weight 5 yarn but it's on the thinner side so I you uh, if you are using a weight 4 yarn it will also work I'm going to be using a 7 millimeter hook and a 9 millimeter hook starting with the back panel we're going to use the 7 millimeter hook and chain 11 So the number of chains we make make up the width of the band ribbing. If you want a longer band, make more chains. And then we are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and each chain across. At the end of row 1 we are going to have 10 single crochet stitches. At the end of the row we are going to chain one and then we are going to turn and then we are going to work a single crochet into the back loops one single crochet into each back loop and then we are going to end up with 10 single crochets at the end of the row So we are going to keep repeating row 2 until we have a total of 54 rows. The 54 rows will be measuring 20 inches when stretched. For those who want a bigger size, you are going to keep adding more rows until you have the correct measurement for your cardigan next we are going to change to a 9 millimeter hook and then we are going to start to to crochet along the edge of the ribbon we are going to chain one and then single crochet in each row one single crochet in each row across since I had 54 rows, I'm going to single crochet 54 stitches across the edge. But if you had more or less rows, you're going to single crochet a number of single crochets that are equal to the number of rows you crocheted for your cardigan. Next we are going to chain 2 and then we are going to turn. For the second row we are going to double crochet in each stitch across. For row 3, chain 1 and turn, 
then we are going to work one single crochet in each stitch across this is going to be our right side and then when working our double crochets that's going to be the wrong side of the panel From now on we'll keep repeating row 2 and 3 which is a double crochet row and followed by a single crochet row until we have the length of the cardigan we want. So here I have my finished back panel. The total number of rows for the body were 45 rows and the total length of my back panel is around 24 inches and the and the length across is around 21 20 inches. For those who want a longer cardigan, you can add more rows until you have the length you want. For those who want a shorter cardigan, you're going to make fewer rows than mine. For the front panels, we are going to do the same thing with it. We did with the back panel. The difference is they are going to be thinner than the back panel. They will measure around 8.5 inches each. But for the length from top down is going to be the same as the back panel. When making your front panels, the space in between the two front panels is always around 3 inches. But if you are going to make for bigger sizes, you are going to make it we are you are going to make it wider according to your preference. Next, we are going to make the sleeves. The sleeves are made in the same way we made the front and back panels. You start with the cuff which you can try on your wrist to make sure it fits. My cuff is made up of 22 rows which is around 12 inches. For those making other sizes, you can try it on your sleeve on your wrist to make sure it fits. To, next, we are going to start with the first row of the sleeve. We're going to chain one and then we're going to make a single crochet in each row across along the side of the ribbing. The same way we did for the back and front panels.
for row 2 we are going to chain 2 and then we are going to turn next we are going to make a double crochet in the first stitch and then we are going to make two double crochets in the next stitch next we are going to make one double crochet in the next stitch and then we are going to repeat the pattern to the end we're going to make two double crochets and then the next stitch we are going to make one double crochet and then two double crochet and then one double crochet until the end For row 3 we are going to chain 1 and turn, then we are going to single crochet in each stitch across. One single crochet in each stitch across. next we are going to chain two and then we are going to turn and then we are going to double crochet in each stitch across one double crochet in each stitch across this is the same pattern we did in the front and back panels so all you need to do is single crochet one row double crochet another row and then repeat the pattern one and one next we are going to lay our back panel on a flat surface make sure the wrong side faces up and then we are going to lay our front panels on top of the back panels with the wrong side facing the back panel 
then we are going to use our long tails and a needle then we are going to sew on the shoulders After you're done seaming your shoulders, you're going to lay the whole piece flat on a surface. Then you take, you're going to take your sleeve, fold it in half, and then bring, using a stitch marker, mark the middle stitch of your sleeve. With the stitch marker still attached to the sleeve, you're going to attach it to the seam along the shoulders. After making sure your pieces are well aligned, you're going to use your long tail and a needle. Then you're going to sew the sleeve to your shoulders. After you're done attaching your sleeve to the shoulders, you're going to fold the, piece, the whole piece over and then you're going to sew along the edges of the sleeves together and the sides of your cardigan. This is going to be done for both sleeves.